Here's a tutorial on filing NovaCut bugs. So as of NovaCut 1209, um, we now have proper app port integration. So the most helpful way to file a bug is if you open a terminal and type ubuntu-bug space NovaCut. And what this will do is um, attach a lot of useful information to the bug report. So we'll know um, what Ubuntu release, um, what architecture, what exact, uh, what exact NovaCut package version, um, and then it also grabs the log files. So this just gives us a bunch of information that can help um, narrow down the problem without having to have a big back and forth on the, the bug report. Um, it takes a little bit. And for for feature requests, this isn't really important. Um, but for you know, if, if you just encountered a bug, generally just leave NovaCut open and then um, do NovaCut or sorry, do Ubuntu bug NovaCut. So you can see um, some of the information. Um, it includes log files, which you know, there's potentially privacy issues with this, but. Um, in general, the, the most revealing information in the log files is the, um, uh, the, the DMedia file IDs, so the hash of the files, which, you know, that the only way we would know what files they were is if we also had the same files and uh, therefore could compute that same hash. Anyway, so you click send. And you do need to have a Launchpad account to file bugs this way. Um, we actually want to add something where there's kind of a, a lighter weight bug filing that requires no account or it's done through your NovaCut account. But um, for now, this is the best way. And this takes a bit too. So, um, let's see. Oops, what just happened there? I think, I guess by default these are uh, public by default, but you can also change them to um, private. So if they're private, just people that um, ha have access to the NovaCut like, development group on Launchpad can read these bugs. So that's just about, uh, I think actually just three people right now, um, myself, David Jordan, and James Raymond. So. Um, go ahead and give this a title. And submit it, and I can show you what the resulting bug looks like. So the first thing is that, so, you know, we know the exact Ubuntu version, we know the exact package, um, and I'm sure some people have noticed this already, but the packages from the daily build always have a a tilde BZR and then a, a revision number. So just at a glance, we can tell if you installed from the daily PPA or the stable PPA. Um, we know the architecture. So sometimes that's handy if there's a bug that say, you know, only is occurring a 64 bit. Um, this is also handy. Um, it, it tells you whether it was a fresh install on the current release or you know what which originally installed from so sometimes there's issues where um, there are kind of states in your Ubuntu install only reached by an upgrade that caused problems so that's helpful and then here are the log files it attaches so to give an idea of what they look like um, and this was whenever I was last running NovaCut uh, which may have been a while ago but um, so like you can see, you know, there's, this is in general the most revealing information are these uh, DMD file IDs. But again, there's no way we could know what this file was unless we also have the same file. Um, so it's fairly private, but again, you know, if in doubt, um, oops, didn't want to go back that far. Um, if in doubt, mark them as private, or if you're really in doubt, you know, maybe don't file a bug this way. Um, and then here's, for example, the, the render log file, um, 
which can be super useful for, for diagnosing stuff. And there's also the Novocut Dbus log file, which nothing that exciting was going on in there. But anyway, so um, it's just a, a really helpful way to get a lot of information to us. Now, the other exciting thing about this is, at, at least in Quantal right now, um, because Quantal has the automatic crash reporting turned on, which over time they eventually turn it off. But so I've rigged up a scenario where um, D Media will crash when I try to open it. So I'm going to click on D Media, and the Dbus service won't be able to start because I um, put a file in a place that it can't be. So you get this automatic crash report. Um, and we are especially interested in getting I any of these. I know it's a bit of a pain to go through this process and it takes a little bit of time, but um, especially for D-Media. Uh, so again, the you know porting process is about the same, but especially for D-Media, if there are crashes, we'd love to have crash reports because um, the, there's actually not uh, common scenarios that we know D-Media crashes under. So if it does crash, like it's probably an interesting corner case that we really need to, to address. Um, with Novacut, we do have more crashes and there's a lot of crash scenarios where, you know, we're uh, aware of the problem and I just haven't had time to fix it yet. But with D-Media, um, in general, it doesn't crash a lot. So especially if it does, we'd love to get that feedback, um, especially as, you know, D-Media is the thing that can cause uh, data loss if it doesn't work right. So, um, so yeah, same, same sort of thing. And there are similar log files that D-Media provides. Um, I'll have to see what Yada yada. Um, another thing too, so it wasn't until recently that I realized that you can use Apport even if you have unofficial um, uh, packages. Huh, so this is interesting. I'm not sure quite why this is, but it looks like for the automatic crash reports, it automatically marks it as private. Um, and so again, it's just people in the Novacut development team that can get access to this. Um, but I will go ahead and file this. Uh, and you also see that when, when um, there's an automatic crash report, it automatically gives you a title. Based on, you know, uh, the trace, the Python trace pretty much. Um, so similar information. Um, uh, it shows you the executable that crashed. So in this case, it was Demita GTK. Um, so I, I guess the the automatic crash detection potentially does have bigger privacy issues because um, it includes a trace, and the trace could contain basically you know any user data. Um, depending on where the crash happened. Whereas with our log files, you know, that's a little safer because we know what's going to be going into them in general. Um, yeah, so you can see that it's log files. It's got an error in there. So yeah, that is about it. But anyway, so um, you can do this in your own uh, packages and I wrote a blog post about it recently I'll put a link in the, the video and it's quite easy to add into um, unofficial software that you deliver through a PPA and um, I'm pretty sure you even can do it on uh, platforms besides Ubuntu and besides Linux although I'm not too sure how to do that but um, I know uh, BZR does that anyway so yeah that's how to file bugs against Novacut and Dimedia thanks